everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Grace if you don't know me and I'm a second year BSc Microbiology student at the University of Leeds. So today's video is going to be on how I make notes at university. Spoiler alert, I don't. of university I've tried out lots of different note taking or information recording techniques and I've worked out which ones are inefficient or don't work so well. Now obviously this is all personal preference though I do think that the techniques that I use can be beneficial for lots of different students so this is why I thought I'd give an insight into how I record lecture information and further reading as well. So before the lecture what I'll do is create a folder for that lecture so for example within my medical virology folder which, was, which is one of my modules um, I'll for example create lecture 9 HPV 1 um, and that will be a folder in itself. And then what I'll do is I'll download the PowerPoint from Minerva, um, for those of you who don't know, which is our sort of university portal where we have all our modules and student information. And so yeah, I'll download the PowerPoint uh, and save it into that folder. Uh, usually I'll, I'll save the PowerPoint with the same name as that folder. So again, lecture nine, HPV one. And then any other sort of PDFs that the lecturer recommends for wider reading, I'll save into that folder as well. Or if I find any useful uh, papers, I'll save it into that folder too. So a top tip of mine is that if your lecturer uploads uh, the slides in a PDF form, what you can do is you can use a PDF converter and it converts it to a PowerPoint. And the reason I find the PowerPoint format um, more useful is something that I'll talk about in just a second. So if you want me to do a video on how I sort of organise uh, my online life, sort of university, YouTube um, work as well, then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and then I'll be sure to record that video. So during the lecture, I will write out any extra information that the lecturer gives underneath, directly underneath the PowerPoint slides. So I don't create a Word document and write all the notes and copy it from the PowerPoint or like I've tried different techniques like that and it's just a waste of time. There's no point just copying the information from the PowerPoint slides. So essentially I've got the information from the slides and then any um, extra information that the lecturer adds I will just write down below underneath and then that makes it much easier to sort of engage with the lecture because you're not constantly trying to write everything down you're just picking out the key extra things that the lecturer says so this is essentially the only note-taking part so it's pretty minor to be fair the good thing as well is if I miss a lecture I'm only human, I'm a university student. Lots of people would say, oh, but they're online, that's so easy. I suppose sometimes I'll have job interviews, so they'll clash and I'll miss lectures, or um, if there's, we're sort of around a time when there's lots of assessments and mid-semester exams and coursework going on, and I've got to spend extra time doing that, um, then unfortunately I may miss a lecture or two. I find that at the beginning of um, the semesters, I start off really well going to all the lectures, engaging with them, and then, we get to the mid part where there's lots of exams and coursework and that tends to be when I can drop off a couple of times, but that's okay. But the good thing is, is that for most people um, with them being online now as well, I was lucky that even when they weren't online, they were still recorded. But with most of them being online, um, they are being recorded, which is really, really good. So what I do is I go back to the lectures and I um, can go through and write down the notes just so I would if it was a live lecture. And um, the good thing as well, obviously, is you can pause it, you can go back, you can um, get the lecturer to say it over and over again if you if you can't understand it properly. Um, so that's something I tend to do as well. The good thing as well with the recording is you can sort of skip the parts at the start of the lecture when they're um, waiting for everyone to arrive and skip through bits which you, you don't need talking about. Um, for example, if it's just sort of bullet point facts on a slide that the lecturer is going through. Um, and also you can speed up as well, which is really, really good. So after the lecture, once I've got all the information on the slides and I've got the notes underneath, what I'll do is then make flashcards on Excel. And this is the main way I sort of consolidate all the information. So the information from the PowerPoint slides, the information from um, the notes sections underneath each slide, and then also any sort of wider reading I do or just clarifications of things. For example, if there's a keyword that was mentioned in the lecture and I don't know what it means, I can add it um, in, in as a flashcard. So Google what, what it means and then add it in. And then that way I've um, got all the information I need to do with that lecture. 
all in one place as well. So if you want to find out how I make these flashcards in more detail, um, make sure to comment down below, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and then I can make that video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you found it useful and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys! Thank you.